South African billionaire Patrice Mutsepe caused quite a stir earlier this week as he was announced as one of the candidates contesting the top job in African football. The man who is married to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's sister will have his work cut out to ascend to the CAF presidency. I'm definitely surprised. Um, he's obviously made, stamped his, or left a, foot, a huge footprint on the continent through sundowns, Mamlodi sundowns, and what Pizza Mosimani and the team have been able to achieve. Uh, but he's not only riding on that particular ticket, you know, on that sort of background. Uh, he's got huge financial backing. And um, it bodes well for, for South Africa should he get uh, voted in. It remains to be seen if one of the richest men on the continent can garner enough support to claim the top job in African football. But should he be successful, it will signal the start of a new chapter for the organization at a time when new leadership is required. But maybe um, with him in the picture, it also talks to um, is it time to move away from the normal FA presidents um, and, and, and get for someone who's going to um, take Kev on a different trajectory altogether um, in terms of um, how to reshape and, 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 and how to come with a different um, a Kev um, to run African football. Because so to be honest, there are a lot of things which have not, have not been done we right. Um, even under the 29 year old, uh, 29 year rule of uh, Issa so Hayato, no um, this regime that Maybe came in 2017 in with a lot of promises um, has failed in many different areas uh, to transform our game. I just really hope that, you know, this whole, you know, th th there's a lot of negativity in and around and, and skepticism. Uh, in and around our game and hope whoever takes over, whether it's Patrice or one of the others, that they're able to change that uh, perception about uh, the African game. The man currently in the CAF hot seat faces a slew of allegations around his actions as president of the organization, which could bode well for Mutsepe, who himself still needs to make it past the FIFA Ethics Committee before he can officially throw his name into the election hat. One of the things that is very interesting was that uh, Ahmad is being backed by 46 nations. But already from those so-called 46 nations, we've seen uh, close to more than 15, if not close to 15 of them, already aligning themselves with the different candidates. It tells you that uh, it is never as it seems in African football. You'll have to wait for the 12th of March uh, in Morocco and see who will be the next CAF president. Mutsepe's surprise candidature and a strong backing from leading figures in world football has significantly altered the arithmetic of the CAF leadership contest. With the next FIFA elections around the corner, Mutsepe could be important in rallying the African vote for the incumbent Gianni Infantino, who has shown keen interest in the South African taking over in Cairo. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.